decided to come along to the Priest's Crags. East Priest and West Priest. I think that's what they're called. Anyway, I'll have a look later on and correct this if I need to. There's just these uh, big freestanding lumps of rock just off the co uh, just right on the edge of the coastline near uh, Finnechti or Findochti as it's written um, in Murrayshire and uh, they always offer a particularly uh, interesting compositional aspect it's tricky actually they're, they're quite big sorry for turning away sound sound always sound yeah they're quite big so it's kind of tricky how to compose the shot properly uh, without just trying to go for the obvious take everything in at once there's very rarely anybody ever down here i'm almost always on my own which is fantastic that's uh Finnochti fin, hmm, there um i don't know if you can see the church oh there it is there quite a famous little well photographed church up on the hill above the village it's a beautiful little coastal village with an awesome harbor and a good pub as well the admiral's pub always worth a visit um, always friendly people in there and food's good too so we are almost at the crags for a, sp a short time at the top end of high tide you get cut off along here on the coastline there is another way to go back up um, above them uh, it just means scaling the, uh, the bluffs but that's not hard um, high tide's probably in about another hour hour and a half it's coming in slowly. Very, very, very calm today. Let's get along there. Uh, I was walking on these things, tricky. Oh, and the amount of times that I have gone over or rolled my ankle on these things, I cannot count, but it's still cool. Um, so there is a huge storm cell going over behind us there at the moment. Uh, and I think it's just going to miss us. Uh, I kind of hope it is because I didn't bring a raincoat. So if I get soaked, I get soaked, not the end of the world. Um, but it's a big, big storm cell. But I think it's just gonna miss us with any luck. Um, but it certainly made the light a little bit more flat, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I find dealing with high contrast and photographs um, tricky. That's why I tend to avoid, usually, wherever possible, the middle of the day, especially when it's bright blue skies, as it has been here recently. Um, but the main reason I'm not getting up, well, I'm too, even though I get up at 5.30, that's still too late for sunrise. Um, the sun's high in the sky by that stage at this time of the year. We're sort of only 20 odd days away from the longest day. And because I'm up so early, I often miss the sunset. Ah, what are you gonna do? So for the purposes of doing vlogs, it's middle of the day stuff for a while. Um, I hope you don't mind. It's still nice though. Right, I'll let you have a look. See what I'm doing.
Okay, so after some searching, I found a composition which I'm happy with. The only problem is that... Okay, it's not a problem. The uh, <laughs> It's very, very calm. So there's no real action in the waves at all. But that's okay, it's fine. Um, so I've gone for a 10 second exposure just to completely smooth things out and work with the conditions. Um, it's kind of tricky because it's heavily backlit. Um, so I'm having to use a couple of grads which is going to darken the main focus of uh, the shot which is the West Priest Crag. Yeah, West. Um, it's going to be quite dark but the 5D4 has got great ability to recover shadows. Really awesome dynamic range so I'm not worried about that. I'll be able to manage to get that back in post I would have thought. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm using two grads as a result, the 1.2 medium grad and the 0.9 soft grad, and I'm using the six stop filter, six stop ND. Uh, I've put the ISO down to uh, what's what is L on the Canon, so that's ISO 50. It's an artificial ISO; it's not a native one. Um, basically, just gives me a little bit more. I can I can run the shutter open a little bit longer as a result of using that because I want to get a 10 second exposure at f11 I don't want to stop down anymore I don't see the need I could stop down to f16 and get an even longer exposure and I may try that I tend to not go much more down stop down than f16 because uh, I feel that the quality suffers after that but having said that on the 5d4 it, it might not it might be okay so um, yeah Obviously white balance is set to cloudy because it is now cloudy. It's a very sort of greeny grey look to the area um, with a hint of blue. I'm going to press the shutter button because that was cool. All of a sudden the sea has woken up and it could make for quite an interesting image over 10 seconds so we'll see. Let's have a look. Oh that's a bit better. Yeah okay that's probably going to be the one actually. Um, so what I like to do when I'm out and about is rate the images um, so that I find them easier when I get home uh, because there's uh, going to be a few the same. I want to make sure I've definitely got the one I liked on location. Of course that may change. Um, so I will let you see the back of the camera now and you can see my composition and everything on that. Okay, so let's just turn the brightness up for you. Oh, it's up full already. It's quite a bright day, so I don't think it's going to happen. Whoops, there we go. So I think that will look quite good later on when we take a look at it. And I'll let you see the composition from afar. There we go, East Peace Crag. These rocks in the foreground, serving as a bit of foreground interest and a bit of a leading line. And the camera's in quite close as usual. And I'm focusing pretty much on those rocks there. And at F11, that should give me a bit of a, a deep enough depth of field to get the uh, acceptable sharpness all the way through. Right, okay, so let's try and find another composition. Okay, I'm trying something a little bit different just because conditions are quite flat. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do this and, or whether or not this image is going to work, but I figured it was worth a try. So I've got the camera in uh, portrait orientation. I've got a couple of grads on the front, but I've got no, uh, no NDs, just the grads, and I've got a polarizer. And what I'm going to do, slightly sh faster at shutter speed, in fact, the shutter speed's currently at uh, one tenth of a second uh, at f16 and ISO 200 to try and stop any motion in the, uh, the grass and the flowers here. And I'm going to focus stack the image. Hopefully it will work. So I'm going to focus first on the flowers. 
and then once again in the background. Shouldn't need to do too much more than that because there is nothing in between those two points really. So with any luck that'll work. I think when I focus into these rocks here, these rocks are also in focus so it should be good um, because of the wide angle lens and f16. Um, not sure how it's going to work, may not even use it. Uh, I've already taken the shots and uh, I'm pretty happy with them I think. I am pretty happy with them. So with any luck it'll turn out. It's going to be a bit of an editing ordeal I suspect painstakingly blending in the little flowers and the blades of grass. Again, it may not be worth it, but I'm, no matter what, I'm going to include this whole bit in the vlog to show that sometimes things don't always work. Um, right. Ah, I think I'm done. Um, yeah, I'm going to go home. Just because it's now that time of day. Don't worry, I didn't mean to be rude. All I was just doing was turning the camera around. Um, yeah, I am gonna go home now. Uh, I think I've got two images. If I've only got one, I've only got one. It's not the end of the world. It's, I'm actually kind of happy with that image. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog on this rather sort of dull day now. It started off so beautiful and sunny. I think it may come good again, but who knows. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Um, thanks for watching and I'll probably see you back in Perthshire next time. Okay, see you later.